Yeah, greetings, greetings. I hope everybody is fine. So, today I've brought a tutorial on mixing a reggae beat in FL Studio. Based on the request that I've had after posting beats, how to make beats, this and that, some people have been asking me that I should make a video on how to mix a, a reggae beat in FL Studio. So, this is what this tutorial is all about. So, let's get into the tutorial without wasting your time. So, uh, by the way, I'm going to be using stock plugins only in this tutorial. So, I hope it is going to be very much uh, helpful for anyone who maybe might think, like, is it possible? Reg, reg, whatever. I'm going to be using stock, stock plugins only, apart from maybe one plugin just to spice up some few things. So, yeah, let's get it. Okay. Uh, so, you can listen right now how the song sounds is just all over the place. There is nothing that I've done, no any processing. I created the beat, I played the bass, I played the, the chop guitar and the, uh, the stack line, just to have something different. Okay, very soon I'll come up with a tutorial on how to record some chop guitars, so just stay tuned. There are various techniques which people use when mixing. I also have my technique whenever it comes to mixing a reggae beat. The most important thing is the results. I care so much about the result when it comes to whatever the processes anyone can do. All right, so uh, first of all, like this instrument, how this beat sounds here, it's just scattered. First of all, the, what I'm going to do is just to balance the the beat to balance the instruments and then begin to apply some effects and give it some more life to it yeah So this kick, so most of the time, if you are a Fruity Loops user, most of the time I know for sure you are using samples. And these samples are processed already. Like my samples, I processed them already. The time I was sampling, I think some few years back, I processed every sample that I was working on. So that whenever I'm doing my recordings, I have a quick workflow without touching a lot of things. Or complicating other things. Okay, so this is the kick. So on the kick, I'm gonna uh, first of all a compressor. Okay, you hear this compressor here? Yeah? I have. Um, I have created the presets for the kick. You hear that? So just playing around with the the low mid. This is the compressor I like to use so much. If you have watched my videos, I like to use this compressor. This is the multi band compressor which has got three uh, bands of the sp uh, audio spectrum. So we have mid, high band, and mid band and low band. So the low band is basically the best one. That's why you can see the frequencies are very active on this band here. And then there is also 
uh, an equalizer which this is the kick give it a, a tone a bit and yeah sounds good already so you can check somewhere here okay hi hat parametric equalizer here this is the one i was looking for so you see it has got the hi-hat shouldn't have those rumbling frequencies this hi-hat is not processed at all okay to apply effect which i'm going to do it later on after treating each and individual tracks then i'm going to add some compression again on the drum and hear what what it gives okay so it's not it's not so much whistling it's natural the only thing that has been reduced is just the raw end try to add some compression again so this is the higher you can see the act, uh, frequencies which are active are here yeah, so take it's here the next thing is the rim so there is an equalizer here i was just trying to check some few things the uh the through the multi band compressor that is there's much life to the limb so the next thing let's check this piano balanced it
this is the completion And here is starting to change right away. There's life now coming in. So the next thing I'll go to this chop here. I'm throwing it to the left. I'm going to pan the piano to the right again. And what I'm gonna do here is simple. There is a preset which I've already made for this chop guitar. It's here, chop guitar. So this is how I did the balancing. And then the next thing is the fuzz. This is the only, is for air, from air. This is the only plugin a third party plugin that we can use but the rest is the so I'm, I'm giving this effect that I created for the guitar here it is so you can hear if I play together with the chop So you can notice how they are blending together left and right with this kind of mix. Okay, so come again to the next item is this is the base Yeah, how it sounds I created the preset again on this the bass line for the bass so here you go because reggae carries a heavy bass actually so you can hear the difference and then there is a soft clipper here I added added a soft creeper just to limit and decrease in case there is there's gonna be any kind of creeping right so they are not even crashing with the kick it's, it's just this because sometimes when they crash you can do parallel compression but in here they are not crashing so you can hear so let's come to this start line which is very loud pan again to the left and then add this uh, preset I think I created a preset here also if not mistaken uh, okay no problem okay no problem what we do here there's no presets okay so this is what I want it to be that so just add some more life to it 
add some compression. And then I'm also going to add I'm going to add this air files. You can see now the bit is coming together. See? The next thing remaining here is the organ. So what I'm gonna do with the organ is just to, to do the same thing. I want to emphasize the frequencies from here because they are very low down here. either to your left or right just to create you know to make sure that instruments are not having that kind of confliction I'm panning to the left so what I'm gonna do there is this guitar here acoustic guitar from super quartet and then what I'm gonna do is just to raise it again This one, I'm also going to add a reverb. So you can see other people add a reverb. Sometimes I also do that depending on situations. Like you can create a, a, a bass for reverb and then it's just be sending. I'm not doing that because there are not many instruments on this beat. So it won't have any effect on my computer. So.
just to cut the high cut so that there's no mud here. Okay, so you can see what is happening here. I've added a, a, a compressor on the drum bus. Since I've already processed each each track individually, there's just some thing, small thing that I've done, just trickled the bit. And here, song is massive. A soft creeper, C. Try to do something like this. Just to create the overall mid range of all the mid instruments somewhere around here. Just a bit. And then let me try to add again. Uh, a, a reverb on the chop
down the top. The piano is the same piano which is, has been already mixed. Do the same thing, do the same thing, do the same thing. Hmm. Presets are already, that's the good thing of creating presets when you're mixing, so that you just blow them. Ta ta ta, you're good to go, you know what I mean? so after doing your mix you just take try to take a, a, a break a bit and then come and check some few things and then yeah okay <laughs> i'll be back shortly all right so <clears throat> all right so after taking a bit of a break it's just this end and then do some trickles here and there certain things which feel like they're not on point, you know what I mean? But so uh we just come on the kick a bit. down a bit Check this part. See what's missing. Just to 
add uh, this EQ. So what I'm going to do with this EQ is just to, to, to cut a bit of this symphonic rumbles of the bass. So let's play from the beginning. So you see, I'm just trying to adjust here and there, here and there, just adjusting here and there, you know what I mean? Just to, just to, to see what's happening. Otherwise, I'm very much content with the mix. If not happy, take another break, some time. That is why mixing, you cannot just mix a song in one day, then you are done. Unless if, unless if you are very much in hurry, but according to the according to production, take time. Because the ear must have time to rest, to reset, and give you proper information regarding what you're doing. So basically, that's it. So let's check here. So uh, thank you so much guys for watching. This is what I prepared uh, for you on this tutorial on mixing a bit. I know you may have other approaches. Leave them in the comment section below, you know. It's necessary, let me hear your opinions. But at the same time, there are many ways on how you can approach your mixes when it comes to, to reggae music or any other genre. Whether you are using uh, each any DAO that you're using, Cubase or Logic or Pro Tools, Ableton, as long as you understand the the principles like compilation principles, understanding the frequency spectrum, uh, that's all, and you should able should be able to know um, the timbre, the tone of each and every instrument and the frequencies of each and every instrument and how they're supposed to sit in the mix. You won't go wrong, you won't struggle, you know what I mean? So basically that is what it is because that's the principle. So whether you use um, whether you use third party plugins is okay. Mixing is mixing. So third party plugins are very fine as long as you are managing, you've, you've managed to get them because Sometimes we use 
so much um, stock plugins because that's what we may we may have at that particular time, and they are just very good. This is just stock plugins, stock plugins. But you can see, and I've not been doing a lot because one other thing is to is not to process so much uh, stuff instruments. Some other instruments needs to leave. You need to leave them low as they are. Some you can cut and post, cut and post here and there. But completion, correct levels, you are good to go. Saying so, thank you so much for watching. Once again, I'm Willa Wills, musician, record producer. Uh, if you're new to this channel, this is what we do. Uh, and if you want to learn more about reggae, that's great. You can subscribe and get informed each time I upload good tutorials like this one. Saying so, once again, to everybody who has been following this channel since we started posting. And uh, thank you so much for your positive comments each and every day to, uh, to get this channel grow. I salute you each and everybody. Um, more tutorials are coming. Be blessed. Respect. Thank <laughs> you.